good morning everyone so today we are going to complete the fourier transform of a continuous time signal so it is a continuous time fourier transform now this is the important uh, concept because we will get 100% question from this fourier transform concepts or if we know this fourier fourier transform concept we can easily uh, know the laplace transform also so this one is very important uh, topic now there will be two signals that is fourier transform inverse fourier transform so fourier transform formula is x of j omega is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt if i want to find x of t from the x of j omega so it is 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity x of j omega into e power j omega t d omega we are not going to uh, analyze how we got this expressions etc just because of time so we just we know the formulas then we can solve any problem now it is in terms of omega domain right so what of what happens it is in frequency domain so x of f is equal to same formula in place of omega i'll substitute 2 pi f but when i am finding x of t here we got 1 by 2 pi but here we will we will not get any 2 pi because d omega is equal to 2 pi f so 2 pi will be outside so 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled so in f domain it is x of f into e power j 2 pi f into dt into df so remember these two uh, set of formulas then so there will be convergence of Fourier transform so x of should be should have some finite energy right that is if i integrate like minus infinity to infinity mod of x of t whole square dt less than infinity or we can say it should follow some Dirichlet conditions what we discussed in fourier series x of t be absolutely integrable x of t have, uh, have a finite number of maxima and minima within any finite interval x of t have a finite number of discontinuities with any finite interval and each of these discontinuities must be finite so either these conditions should satisfy the x of t then the, the x of t should have a Fourier transform now we will see some examples so if x of t is equal to e power minus a t into u of t and a e greater than 0 so from by the formula x of j omega is equal to e power minus I mean minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt so in place of x of t I will substitute e power minus a t but u of t is from 0 to infinity so the limits will start from 0 to infinity e power minus a t into e power minus j omega so if i this is j omega t if i take t and minus common it will become a, a minus of a plus j omega reason is when i substitute infinity it will become e power minus infinity that is the reason also why a greater than 0 if a is less than 0 it will become a power a t so it, it will not be integrable so if i substitute these limits i will get 1 by a plus j omega which is a greater than 0 so now this Fourier transform is in complex in nature that is 1 by a plus j omega so whenever this is complex in nature we will find the magnitude and phase so we can draw the magnitude and phase response when we change the omega so this is not uh, important sometimes they will give the this magnitude and phase response then we can find x of j omega also so that's why we need to draw the magnitude response as well as phase response so one more signal if it is e power minus a mod t see this are the basic signals once we know this signals Fourier transform we can find any signal Fourier transform so e power minus a mod t so mod t means for t greater than 0 what is the value for t less than 0 what is the value whenever t greater than 0 it will become e power minus a t whenever t less than 0 it will become e power a t into u of minus t so the signal will be like this now when i find Fourier transform it will become minus infinity to 0 one signal that is e power a t e power minus j omega t into dt plus 0 to infinity e power minus a t because signal is e power minus a t e power minus j omega t into dt so when i integrate e power a minus j omega t so remember if e power a t if it is integrating so e power x e power x only but we need to do the differentiation for the x in denominator so it will become a so similarly like this so if i substitute 0 here so e power 0 1 minus 
सो ये ए माइनस जे मेगा इनटू टी इफ टी इज इक्वल माइनस इनफिनिटी ई पर माइनस इनफिनिटी बिल बिकॉज़ जीरो सो वन बाय ए माइनस जे ओमेगा दिस इज़ आल्सो ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट इज़ वन बाय ए प्लस जे ओमेगा सो व्हेन आई टेक एलसीएम एंड फाइंड सो एक्स ऑफ जे ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू टू ए बाय ए स्क्वायर प्लस ओमे� Directly we can remember 1 by a plus j omega that is suppose e power minus t u of t is nothing but 1 by 1 plus j omega If it is e power minus a mod t so it will become 2a by a square plus omega square in place of a we can put any variable Suppose e power a t u of minus t is there so the value is 1 by a minus j omega <coughs> remember this the but e power a t u of t does not contain any Fourier transform because this is not possible if i integrate this is 0 to infinity e power a t dt we will get infinity so which is not absolutely integrable so that's why it will not contain any no Fourier transform right now one more important signal is del function if x of t is equal to delta t so if i by the formula x of j omega is equal to minus infinity to infinity delta t into e power minus j omega t dt we know the del function property delta t minus t naught into x of t is there x of t naught, t naught is the value so t minus t naught t naught is 0 e power 0 is 1 so for del function the Fourier transform is 1 that is delta t is Fourier transform is 1 but if del omega is the Fourier transform, so what is the condition for x of t? So for x of t is equal to a, we will get 2 pi a del omega <coughs> is the formula. Or we can say, so we know that x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity x of j omega into e power j omega to d omega. So when I substitute x of j omega that is 2 pi a into del omega so 2 pi a will be outside by 2 pi into minus infinity to infinity del omega into e power j omega to d omega anyway it is 1. So 2 pi 2 pi cancel so what is x of t? It's nothing but a. So this is a proof for for a constant a the Fourier transform is 2 pi a into del omega. So if it is delta t we will get only 1. <coughs> so we can go for uh, the x of f also. But this one is a very important uh, signal that is a rectangular function. If minus t2, t1 to t1 amplitude is 1, then what is the Fourier transform? Right? So x of j omega is, so we have to integrate only minus t1 to t1 into 1 because amplitude is 1 into e power minus j omega t dt. Now we know the e power x means e power x only, but x we need to denote i mean differentiate in de denominator so minus j omega into differentiation of t is t1 so if i substitute t1 here e power minus j omega into t1 minus e power minus t1 means minus minus plus e power j omega into t1 by minus j omega now if i take my i mean if i substitute with minus here so it will become opposite that is e power j omega into t1 minus e power minus j omega t1 by so j omega is there so we know that e power j theta minus e power minus j theta by 2j is equal to sin theta so there is no 2 so i will substitute 2 at the numerator and denominator so it will become sin omega t1 into 2 by omega so the moment when you see some rectangular function minus t1 to t1 or minus t2 t so it is the Fourier transform that is 2 by omega into sin omega t1 <coughs> If I want to replace with x of f, so 2 by, this will become 2 pi f, sin, omega is also 2 pi f into t1, right. So there is a formula of sinc x, sinc x is equal to sin pi x by pi x. So if I make like this, so pi common 2 f into t1, so in, in the domain also pi into 2 f into t1, so here t1 is not there, so I will add in the numerator so 2t1 into sin pi theta by pi theta which is nothing but sin 2f into t1 so 2 into t1 into sin 2f into t1 this is like this a into rectangular of t by 2t1 is there so whenever this signal is happened 2t1 is there no so we will get minus t1 to t1 so a 
so directly fourier transform is 2 into a into t1 into sink 2f into t1 if a rectangular t by t in place of t to 2t1 if t is there what is the fourier transform it is nothing but a into t into sink ft so how we got so whenever 2t1 is there it is minus t1 to t1 whenever t is there it will become minus t by 2 to t by 2 so 2 so we know that for this 2 into a t1 is here t by 2 so t by 2 sink 2f into t1 so t1 is again t by 2 so 2 to cancel this will become a t sink f t this is for the rectangular function so remember this a rectangular t by 2 a t into sink f t if it is in omega domain so just remember 2 by omega into sine of omega t1 now this is the 2 by a. if minus t is there under a so 2a by omega into sin omega t right so 2 by omega into sin omega t1 is there no so in place of a 1 we got a so 2a by omega into sin omega t right so they will continue in the next video for the, the some different type of signals so if i draw this 2 by 2a by omega sin omega t or 2 by omega sin omega t the fourier transform or graph will become like this so it's a sync function graph sync function so this amplitude depends on the so at omega equal to 0 of a substitute so 0 by 0 form so we have to use L lh rule so so for 2 by omega sin omega t1 so cos omega into t1 so cos omega into t1 into t1 right so in here it will also be gone so 2 into cos 2 into t1